Christian, yeah. what's your favorite type of pizza? I like pizza with cheese on it. Should it be cooked in an oven? Yes. Oh, okay. We're on our way. Mm, pleasure. Square Thank around. <laughs> You at least look into my eyes. I grew up on the best kind of pizza. What is that? Free pizza. <laughs> yes. My dad would take us to all the red sauce joints and pizzerias that he's been essentially helping guys in at. That's when I was exposed to New York City style pizza, which is just a big, floppy, beautiful slice. You know, still very, very, very near and dear to my heart. It doesn't have to be uh, straight up Neapolitan. You can have the same techniques, you can practice the same things like our twist on what Neapolitan pizza should be or how maybe the American palate would receive it a little bit, a little bit uh, easier. The beautiful thing about so many different styles of pizza out there is you can, you can kind of mix and match from, okay, I want a little bit of that Roman aspect to it. I want the Neapolitan chew. It's one of those things that you can feed your family for a very minimal amount of money and you can get yourself through college uh, on pizza. When you were a kid, how much was a slice of pizza? Oh, I think it was like a dollar fifty. Yeah. What is it now? I don't even know. Yeah. What is a slice? How much does a slice of pizza cost? I feel a little bit old actually having that conversation right now. I sound like my father. <laughs> you remember when this was fifty cents? You know, you uh, your parents would be out and you know you'd be a little hungry and you'd want to go get a slice, so you'd go look around for quarters, throw together a buck fifty, two bucks, and go eat like a king. There, there really are no rules. Right? So when I was coming up with the pizza for Fortina, I knew that I wanted a Neapolitan-esque type of pizza. Oh, it's got the pizza man from the pizza boxes. That's dirty. You know the guy? Yeah. Does he ha I bet you there's one here right now. Um, I believe that you're in the same boat as me. We didn't want Neapolitan pizza. Right. Because people think they know what Neapolitan pizza is, but you put one in front of them and chances are they're not used to it. It's a softer pie. You can't hold the slice right. usually with one hand. It's a special thing, you know? It's beautiful if, if you want Neapolitan pizza. Not every place you go to, unfortunately, is like Sal's. Sal's is a real pizza joint. Putting a little love into it is all that really matters, right? Make so, it nice. Yeah, make it nice. Exactly. It's really that simple. Granted, we picked uh, a hard medium, right? A pizza, everyone's a pro. Everyone's a pro. Um, but it's a, it's a, if you care, <laughs> right? This is the best part, actually, right here. The cheese that melts. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Is there one pizza that I think we both both don't like? Deep dish. Shit. What is deep dish? All right, let's get into deep dish. <laughs> Listen. But it's not pizza. Oh, man. At the parlor, we definitely run along the, the Neapolitan a little bit more. Um, I, I think that it should be really simple, and it's very hard to achieve that. We're talking about hydration in the air, you're talking about temperatures, you're talking about proofing, temperature of water, temperature of flour, it gets really deep. It starts with the dough, right? We obsess about dough. We lose our minds over dough. A whole year of my life is gone because of dough. That's what goes into every GD pie that we cook, no? And that's why I think that we're a little... Nuts? A little fed up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? What's up? How, How are you? Doing? What are you doing, man? Good. Where's your brother? He's in Montreal. Ah, oh, not true. How you doing? You know this guy. Yeah. Actually, salad pizza was probably one of my favorite pizzas oh, growing up. Fuck yeah, Pepino's made. You don't, real, you don't realize what it's doing. It's like oh, this fresh, like green. I, it sounds like, like we shouldn't be talking like this nice about pizza right now. But like, watch. That's the bite. Hold on. Honestly, forget the cameras. Like, taste that, dude. It's so fucking good how they do it. It's like straight up iceberg. Look at that. Mm. And there's nothing wrong with iceberg. No. And the acid from the salad that cuts through that, that rich cheese and, and sweet perfect. tomato and the crust, it's, it's perfect. Like, we got into this pizza game while this whole, like, pop culture phenomenon of pizza started to happen. I mean, what would Instagram be without pizza? Insta what? <laughs> Like five years ago, did you ever see a girl at the bar wearing a t-shirt that says pizza is bae? No. What's great about Westchester is a lot of young guys coming up in this business that are gonna be pushing the envelope and doing great things and they're gonna open their pizza restaurants and the way I see it is just more places for me to go and have a good slice. That's right. We're, we're talking about pizza. It's like, it's, it's America's food. I almost think of it as imperfectly perfect every time. Oh. It's, it's art. It's, the fact that not every time you go in, not one time is it the same. I love the fact that a, a, a Roman pie is a little bit more crisp. I love that Neapolitan is light and sort of chewy. I love the fact that a New York slice, you know, you can kind of hold up and it's 
stays out here like this. But um, I guess sometimes I'm in the mood for that. I guess it's all about how you're feeling, you know what I mean? And it's fun. And it's fun. It's fun. Yeah. Anyway. Deep so dish. We can call it whatever, we can call it deep It's dish. pie. It's a pie. It it's might as well be pie. an apple pie.